nice segue there. Of course, most of you are aware um, lockdown 2.0 is now occurring in the UK as it's been as it's occurring in most places in Western Europe. I think France, Germany and a few other places have gone into another lockdown because the numbers are spiked because we're flipping idiots. We don't know what we're doing and we all kind of um, don't know how to. What's that word called? What's that term it's called? Um, delayed satisfaction doesn't really exist um, on this side of in this side or on this side of Europe, right? West side of Europe, Western side of Europe. It doesn't really exist. Um, we don't know how to like, you know, we don't know um, short term pain for long term gain it doesn't exist. So everyone's kind of been flouting the rules. Um, not in my area. I think people have been pretty um, compliant. People are, you know, weighing their face masks, keeping themselves distance, staying away from groups of people, blah, blah, blah. But in other places across London, across the UK, people are just, you know, flouting the rules and not giving a flying fuck. So lockdown 2.0 comes into place uh, on Thursday. And then I guess the night before all the Thursday action, people went out in droves to go and get one last drink in, um, which should have been, you know, we should have, the government should have known this already at least, but for some reason, they're always slow to react to these things. So here's a video from the BBC about some of the nonsense that went down with people in London and various parts of the UK, I guess, getting absolute trolleys. So it says here, yeah, people last night out before second lockdown. It says last night orders. At, let's do a video, see what it says. From the BBC, Jesus Christ. There's, a, there's basically a police van outside of a station, it looks like, right? Or a junction somewhere in central London. And this is closing time in London. And I guess they're trying to coerce people to get out of the centre. There's people on the streets everywhere. Jesus Christ. The night before lockdown in England takes effect, it says on the screen, people piling onto the streets. 10pm curfew has been in place since the end of September, which has been an absolute shit show. Um, from the 5th of November, all the bars closed, isn't it, right? Um, pubs, bars and restaurants will close for four weeks. Jesus Christ. So this is the following uh, people packed on the streets for one last night before England went into a second lockdown. They queued at pubs and ate out at restaurants before the doors closed at 10 p.m. Um, the streets of so in central London were heaving while emergency services in Merseyside were attacked with fireworks. <laughs> uh, bonfire. Imagine that. Imagine you're an emergency service worker, right? And you go to a fucking bonfire on a cold wintry night when you could be at home with your kids and your family or you know cooped up in bed watching netflix and the very same people you're kind of looking out for because they're imagine grown-up adults who like sitting outside and watching fireworks go up in the sky are a special breed of people anyway right then you're going out there to protect these folk and then they decide to aim the fireworks at you like that's just the, those are the times where you question your existence and your vocation and it? it continues there it says the Met Police reported no restriction related incidences in London which is good to see people have the best behaviour but look how this has probably been the only great thing about lockdown it's this amazing scenes that you see all over London right especially in the centre of London cars being kind of banned from certain days people being allowed to pile onto streets tables everywhere it's so fucking cool it reminds me of like you know going to Paris and seeing everybody packed on the streets um getting the best spot at a restaurant to order some wine or have a cigarette and people watch like it's so bloody awesome I'm hoping that once things go back to normal, that this is a thing that they kind of continue. There's There are days in London where you can, where they sort of close the roads in the centre and people are allowed to kind of, you know, um, so it's basically to allow people to shop more, right? It's it's not kind of to, a, it's not like a mental health thing or uh, it's not like a uh, quality of life thing. It's more so for you to kind of uh, spend more money in their stores. So capitalism also always wins, but hopefully going forward it's such a positive thing for the shops and for the people that are, you know going to these events that they uh, you know think of extending it somewhat because i like it i like it of course you've got the always the cookie people out there doing the most um queues outside of a pub imagine queuing to go into a pub this is the life we're living now one said jesus christ continue in brighton two people were arrested after a man suffered serious injuries in a fight involving 20 people people breakdancing and the victim remains in serious condition in raw Sussex hospital standard large crowds also built up outside the pubs and cities like cambridge as people made the most of being out so yeah somebody outside in birmingham a kid breakdancing in a pair of cortez do your thing bro rude boy um, a queue of people outside a Cambridge pub hoping to be served before 10pm 
Jesus Christos. So I guess they, they want to be serving them head back out again. Fair enough. People enjoy their best night out until December in Bristol. Bristol's another great place for pubs, isn't it? And meanwhile, in the capital, many Londoners reported high levels of traffic as people attempted to leave the city before lockdown. Of course, isn't it? Standard. Mary Creer, chief executive of the walking charity, Living Streets, tweeted about it that it was total traffic madness as she cycled home at 7 p.m. Tonight, everywhere, it's high traffic in the neighborhood. And you got pictures of people enjoying themselves. And of course, the standard picture of a couple of girls heading off on a night out but the most important thing was last weekend right there was obviously some undercover um plague raves going on in the city of london i managed to get a few images of um i've, I've had i've got it unlisted on the old um, tube of you so don't ask for a link i'm not going to provide it but because you know i want to maintain these people's privacy and stuff but look at what's going down in london right when people are out and about right illegally because there shouldn't be look what's happening halloween weekend right look what's happening look at what is occurring my friends look at what is occurring <laughs> absolute madness <laughs> and if you're not if you're if you're just listening to this it's the best place to stop this. Then it's, it's a group of revelers in what looks like an underground warehouse party somewhere in an undescript location, dressed in very scantily clad clothes, bunches of lace and fingerless gloves and whips and chains. And, you know, your standard London um, debauchery of a night during Halloween, which, you know, we weren't meant to go out anywhere. You know, there's no such thing as DJs um, nowadays in London. So to see this is like such a throwback, but also... This is what's going on outside. Again, absolutely boost. There's a part of me that's super jealous though, isn't it? Like, what I'll give to be in a nightclub, someone like this, hearing this sort of stuff being played. Jesus Christus. It does look like thunder, doesn't it, right? Don't know where it is. Undescript location, private party, for only for a select few. Look at that. Absolute madness, isn't it? Look what's happening out here. And again, it's so freaky to see this sort of stuff. It's just because, you know, you don't... It's like when I look back at some of my archives of my images and stuff of places I've been in the past. And it's like, it's, it feels like a far away place, isn't it? Going out and partying and raving. So to see this, especially during these unprecedented times, it feels like an absolute throwback, mate. Absolute madness. Looks like fun though. Looks like absolute fun. Take me there. Hundred percent sober, right? <laughs> Look at that, another location. It's like three parties in one video, right? Raves everywhere. Now we're in some sort of warehouse up apartment, looks like somebody's home. Controllers being used beyond the decks. Balloons everywhere. Look how nuts that looks during now. Just imagine this being your life, man. Just imagine the fun you'd be having. Some iconic London ravers out there having their best time. Of course, it's a bit of debauchery there. Skip that little bit. Anything else we got here? Let's speed it forward a bit. 
Whoops. I mean, look, look, look at that. Look how much of a throw that is. Look at her. But yeah, man, that's what's occurring right now, isn't it, in London? Um, are these underground warehouse parties happening um, under the under the guise of what a private party or something i don't know what they are but regardless people are out there having fun in some way shape or form i guess be safe if you can i would prefer if you stayed in so we could all go out but hey you know people are going to live their lives so it is what it is but these things are occurring on the underground under the surface away from prying eyes um in one sense it's cool to see because i've only seen this because i follow certain people online and shit but i guess if you're not plugged in you will never know, so it's good to know this. It's not being broadcast that widely. You sort of have to be in the know to find out. Considering how people are so obsessed with social, it's quite nice that this is sort of like being done on the underground, on the low, without our knowledge, isn't it? Don't you think? I think so. But anyway, maybe that's just 